right, guys. The next fight of the night is Bill Algeo versus Spike Carlisle. Uh, let's start off with Spike Carlisle. He's got a record of 9-2-0. and two and oh. um, Coming off a loss off of uh, Billy Quarantilo, I think that fight was actually fairly entertaining, from what I recall. Um, it was a unanimous decision, and before that, He's actually, he was on like a six fight win streak. Uh, of course, he hasn't had that many fights in the UFC. Um, he's actually one and one in the UFC. Before that, though, he had a five fight win streak going into his first UFC fight. That being said, we kind of look at his, once again, his opponents. Obviously, his second fight in the UFC, he fought Billy Quarantillo, who is a bit of an experienced fighter sort of he has a record of 13 and 2 so he's had about like i don't know 15 professional fights and then you look before that you know he kind of fought some guys that had lower records like 2 and 0 3 and 1 1 and 0 0 and 0 and these fights are a lot of his wins and then when he gets to guys who have had a bit more fights like Sarah Minasean, who he fought in CFX you know that guy had i don't even know if i said his name right but he had about like 20 fights in total. Spike only had four, but even so, like, so he had problems fighting against him. And then now you go to Billy Quarantillo, once again, 13 and two, so about 15 fights, you know, and uh, he's having problems there. So Bill Algeo is no different because he has 18 fights under his belt. So Bill is going to be the more experienced fighter here, without a doubt. The one thing I do like about Spike is his fast-paced style, um, but that kind of does come back to bite him in the ass uh, when it comes to like the later rounds because he could gas out potentially. Um, he's a more aggressive fighter than Bill, I think. He can be a great fighter, like he really truly can, but uh, it's just there's this uh, gray area with some fighters when they come in the UFC that uh, look like they have a lot of potential. Um, but then maybe the fight IQ gets the best of them. I'm not sure if Spike Carlisle fits in that category exactly, but based on his last fight, I kind of, and also the gas out factor sometimes, uh, I kind of feel like that is the case. But really, I mean, like winning five of your, your last six fights, regardless, is a pretty good feat. And he's an exciting fighter to watch, so I'm definitely looking forward to this fight. Bill has a record of 13 and 5 and 0. Oh, uh,. His last fight was against Ricardo Lamas, uh, and he lost that one by decision, and it was unanimous. But yeah, his two recent losses were uh, by decision. In fact, actually, um, three of his last five losses were by decision, and the other two were actually by submission, because one was by a rear choke, and the other one was by an armbar. His record is full of quite a few wins. It's like this guy will win a few fights and then he'll lose one and then he'll win a handful of fights and then he'll lose one but as soon as he got in the UFC he lost his first fight and previous to that he had a win and then a loss right so like that gap kind of went away as soon as he went to the UFC so my now my problem here is I mean he was going up against Ricardo Lamas and that that's not necessarily easy I remember that fight it was recent and um both I think uh actually Ricardo was on Algeo for the most part of that fight. Then, like, Algeo came back, and then uh, uh, Ricardo came back near the very end and kind of showed him what was up. Um, and then I think that's how he won, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, Bill has uh, good striking, but he might actually look to go for the takedown here. I don't know if that's a smart idea, because Spike himself has good ground game. Um, he could look to grab the leg. Uh, he could work from the bottom. That's not to say that, you know, he'll get back up if he gets taken down or anything, but he could definitely work a ground game. So I can't see that being uh, a smart decision unless Bill is super confident in his ground game. So looking back at Bill's record, it really looks to me like he has a problem with uh, skilled fighters, right? Like uh, he did win, I think it was the Cage Warriors Championship. But then he lost it right away, I think. So when it comes to hitting, I guess, the cream of the crop, Bill Algeo maybe does suffer a little bit. I think this is one of the problems he's going to face here with Carlisle. Uh, Carlisle might just ha get the best of him here. Um, 
Let's quickly take a look at the odds. Okay, so Bill Algeo is sitting at a plus 150, Spike Carlisle at a minus 175, at the time that I'm recording this at least. I'd put it just a little bit closer than that, like clearly, but to be quite honest, I am on the side of Spike Carlisle here. I do think he's going to get the win and kind of keep his sort of momentum going. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go Spike Carlisle, Spike Carlisle by no method. I'm just going to say decision. Uh, that's usually what I say when I got no method for you.